Hey dolls, how are you? It is Sunday night, and here I am after a long week trotting all over the world, and Nuggie's here, and Belly's here. Nuggie, say hello to all my dolls out there. Say hello, Schnugs. Hi, Lisa, how are you? Hi, Steph, how are you doing? It's Sunday, and I'm here with my dolls, and I'm so excited. Hi, Patty, say hello. Say hello, Nuggy. Nuggy, say hi to everybody. Well, you might just get part of Nuggy's butt tonight. How about that? <laughs> how was your guys' week? Was it good? Hi, Mary Kate. How you doing? Hi, Emery. Hi, Lisa. Hi, guys. Oh, it's been a long week, and I didn't get to jump on here at all this past week because, Nuggy, are you going to let me do a tutorial tonight? Are you going to say hi to everybody? No, Nuggy's being shy. Um, yes. Stephanie, I was in Canada. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, we had a showstopper there and at the shopping channel. It's called a showstopper, not a today's special value. And it was amazing and it was exciting. And it was a really, really, really um, great, great. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Diane. Um, yeah, Nuggie's in the house. It was really a great day. It was a long day. But let me tell you something. There's one thing I have to tell you about Canada, and I love it there. I absolutely, hi Regina, um, hi Bonnie, the, I absolutely love, love, love it there, but it was so cold. It was, they were having a cold front come through, and during the day that we were having our show supper, it was minus five, minus five. And all right, and it's in um, Toronto, so it's close right to the lake. So you get this bone chilling cold. So, hi Karen, how are you doing? Hi Margaret, hi Morella, ciao Bella. Um, yeah, it was, oh Stephanie, did you watch? It was awesome. I had such a fun day because I love those girls so much. And it was interesting too because I had, um, first time I had a, a model that modeled with me. And it was, um, hi Cheryl, oh, happy Sunday Catherine, hey Kim. I had a model that had, she had been with um, uh, uh, the shopping channel for ever, right? Like she had been a model there for the longest time. And she had never done any makeup companies. And when I came in there, I mean I had seen her face because I had been in the shopping channel before. And, but she's never worked for me before. And uh, hey, Joe, hey, Melinda, hey, Jeannie. Um, so um, I said, how come we've not used you before? And she said, I was always really scared to do a makeup company before. And she had been using the foundation. So she felt pretty confident that she would look pretty on air. She ended up being my main model throughout the day because she had a lot of rosacea. She's really, really beautiful girl. Hi, Lillian. Hey, Ruth. Um, hey, Joy. Uh, who's that? Janice. Hi, Janice. All my dolls are here. It's so exciting. Oh, Nuggy, you're missing everybody. Oh, Nuggy. Um, and she ended up like just demoing all day and just did a really, really, really great time. Yeah, um, Stephanie, I was having a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. There, there's something about after you're so many hours in on one of those days, okay, Nucky, go on this side. You're you just get slap happy, right? You just get so ridiculously tired that you get slap happy. So I got a little slap happy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> By the end of the night, I was with Greta and Greta was <laughs> looking at me. She said, it, it was probably one of the funnest shows that you ever did. She's like, Oh, you wanna walk over to the models? I'm like, No, I'm in my Uggs. I'm not gonna do it. But it was a really great day and um and I love, 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 if I can say love enough times, going there. Now you're just going to hug me all night? So um, I went. we went back down to the shore house again today, um, trying to, I think I told you guys it was our house that got like, all right, Nug, you got to get down. Thanks, baby. Hit by Sandy. And no one had been there. Hi, Patty. Am I missing anybody? Hey, Deborah. Um, yeah, I know. Um, Nuggie, she's, uh, she'll be back up. Trust me, she didn't stay away that far, that long. Um, and uh, we would try to get the water on and more pipes burst. So <laughs> it's not been a um, good thing with that house. Um, hopefully, hopefully it'll be ready by September. <laughs> anyway, okay. Hey, Christina. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Great. Is that, am I saying this right? Bula? B Bila? That's a pretty name. Um, hey, Sammy. Um, Packing and shopping are amazing. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Thanks so much. Um, okay. So I thought I would do like this really cool tutorial tonight because I think as we get a little bit older, and you know Mel gets to do all those young tutorials, right? Because she got all that young skin going on. <laughs> I just don't. That I would do a tutorial because I think one of the biggest pain in the butt things is concealer. Like what well, concealer? You can tell I don't have any on. So I'm not like crying or anything that the pipes broke. We just kind of left and ate a cheeseburger. <laughs> we were just like turned the water off and like, well, we'll just figure it out. So we thought we were going to get the water on today and it just didn't happen. But I want to tell you guys that yesterday I was so excited, you know, that we're finally trying to get this darn house together. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond with my whole, I don't know if you guys ever shop at Bed Bath & Beyond, but you know every week you get that circular. Um, hey, hey, who's that? Um, Galen? Okay, Galen. Hi, Galen. Um, oh, you like the Hydro Bomb Liffies, Diane? Awesome. Okay, yeah, Lisa. I'm the over 50, okay? 55. I'm not, I'm double nickels and I'm not having any more birthdays after this. So 56 can go just on by. Matter of fact, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to sleep through it. But anyway, um, so I went to Bed Bath & Beyond with like an entire little garbage bag bag like a little plastic bag full of my 20% coupons do you guys ever do that like I mean I had a stack like this and I ended up I don't know what what provoked me to do this I think I bought 20 beach pillows that all have like little stupid like beach things on them like endless summer and um life's a beach and I don't know I don't even know why I did it I don't even got a place for them. we don't even have beds in there I don't even know why I did it, but I did it, and I got them in garbage bags, and I love them, but, you know, sometimes I'm just a little crazy, right? <laughs> just a little, 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 little crazy. Okay, so let's talk about concealers. So, I want to give you guys some really great tips on concealers, and then, of course, you know what Sunday, you know what Sunday means, it's giveaway time, okay? So, you know, every Sunday, we work on some sort of giveaway, and if, guess what? Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, so everybody needs a little luck of the Irish, right? So I'm half Irish. I don't know what half of me is Irish. Could be this half, this half, this half, or down below. I don't know what half of it is. That comes from my dad's side. My mom's German and American Indian. So who knows what part of me is Irish, but I know I got some freckles, and I know I'm a little Irish. So, okay, so let's talk about the concealer, all right? Um, okay, all right, here, go, here we go. So, first things first, and if I, if you guys start to, oh, I love those green leprechauns, I love that. Um, let's talk about that, and if I miss anybody, like sometimes, like what I'll do after the chat, a lot of times if you guys are asking me questions and I'm like doing stuff and I miss it, I will go back, and if I see that you're asking me something like several times and I've missed it, I'll go back and send you a, a little Facebook message because I like to read back the comments, and um, so if I miss anything while I'm doing this, please don't hold it against me. I'm old and blind. <laughs> So, okay, so I have nothing on underneath my eyes, right? I mean, they're, you can see, they're kind of like dark. You guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but ever since I had um, um, the thyroid cancer and I had my thyroid removed, I had to take Synthroid and it left my skin really, really dry and it left me with some rosacea from treatment and then I get swelling and stuff underneath my eye, particularly when I fly. So, um, oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, oh, Anne-Marie. Okay, let's talk about that really, 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 really quick. The tape trick. Did you guys try it? Did you do the imaginary line and push everything back? It works, doesn't it? I mean, it's so brilliant. That is one of the most life-changing uh, makeup tutorials I think I could ever give to anyone. And it's something that I just live by. And I just think it's just beyond brilliant. So I'm so glad that... It worked. I know I brought tissues in here. I wonder if Nuggy took them. I bet Nuggy. Oh, that little turd face. Okay. All right. I'll have to jump out in a second and get a tissue. All right. So here we go. Let's talk about the under eyes. And let's talk about what happens to us underneath our eyes as we get a little bit older. 
all right? So if you're like a fan and you're going on YouTube and you're going and searching videos on how to apply concealer and you're like, I don't know. Um, oh, thank, thanks, Sabrina. Uh, is that, or is that Sandra? Thanks, Sandra. Um, you, you, we, we, it doesn't, it doesn't work for us, right? It doesn't, it doesn't work for us as we get a little bit older because they're doing things like baking and baking's where you like powder up your eye and you wait a couple minutes and you dust it off and the reality is an hour later you're going to look like an accordion and I don't want my dolls looking like an accordion I want you guys to look like dolls right like porcelain gorgeous gorgeous dolls hey mama how are you mom if you're just uh jumping in we went to the beach house and the pipes are broke again okay I just thought I would just tell you that one so since I didn't have a chance to call you on the way home but okay so what are we going to start with underneath our eyes Okay, so underneath our eyes, and I want you to know that my husband heard me and he brought me a tissue. One of these days, he's going to jump on camera with me. Um, I don't know when, but he's a little shy. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do when it comes to under eyes. Now, if you have time, I'm going to give you a couple more steps. If you have to get out the door, then you can minus some steps. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is we're going to hydrate underneath the eye. All right, so I'm going to show you what I'm using for underneath my eye. Okay, and I am using the um, Dr. Dines Phytofirm Eye Treatment. Okay, so that's what I use underneath my eye. So what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to put that underneath your eye. And then you're going to let it, takes about, I guess, about 60 seconds to dry. And then, oh, hey, Mo, Bob, he's in and out, right? He's, he, that's kind of like, he'll stop in the office. He's like, in. he doesn't say a whole lot, and then he goes... You can't have two talkers in a relationship. It would be crazy. So I get to talk all the time, and he's quiet. <laughs> That's probably why I love him. Um, okay. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to hydrate really well underneath that eye. So, interesting. Okay. I, I know, Mom. You would go down and fix everything. I think this is a bigger job. Because that's the reason why we stopped go. We had to, a problem in the first place is um, the pipes burst and we got them fixed and now they burst again, so it's frustrating. Okay, so we're gonna wait about 60 seconds for those, um, for that under eye to set. And then, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, you know I'm a little bit crazy, we're gonna apply it again, okay? And you're gonna be like, Dars, that's crazy. But I'm gonna tell you we're not, because as we get a little bit older, our skin really, really gets dry. And particularly the areas underneath our eyes get really even more dry than the rest of our skin because there's not as many sebaceous glands, there's not many oil glands, and what happens is this skin is much, much thinner. So if you have time, I would tell you to do a second application. If you don't, you can stop at that, at that stage and minus this application. But if you can, you got an extra minute, I'm going to tell you to do that. And then what you want to do is just kind of pat that underneath that eye area, just pat, 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 pat that in, and then let that set and hydrate. And just because, you know, just for time purposes, let's say that that bad boy is set. Now, here's the next thing I'm gonna do, and you guys are gonna think, I'm a nut bag. <laughs> but I'm not, because it works. All right, so after we've hydrated, and we've used the, um, like I said, whatever under eye treatment that you're using, just continue to use, I'm not, you know, telling you to change um, anything. But the key with this, and when I'm talking about like putting it on once and let it absorb and then putting it on twice, it's like anything. You really want to plump, a plump, plump it up that skin. We want that skin to be as plump as can be. Hi, Nuggy. And the plumper it is, the less lines and wrinkles we have. Lines and wrinkles when we're dehydrated, that's when you kind of like think of a sponge when it gets all like, blah, blah, blah. we don't want any, blah, blah. we want to be like, Mm, okay, so the next thing you're going to do, we've got our under eye cream, okay, under here, I've done two applications, even here, another little trick too, like use a good under eye cream like the Dr. D's one at nighttime before you go to bed, and then it, if you clean your face at night, 
you don't actually, I know this sounds weird, but you don't actually have to wash your face all over again after you wake up in the morning if you've really cleaned and hydrated and moisturized because a lot of times we're stripping away a lot of those natural oils and we kind of want to keep those oils there. Um, Annie, don't worry, you're not that late. I just got started, baby. All I'm talking about is moisturizing under the eye, so you're fine, baby. Um, oh, your eyes, because they're sunken in. So Candy, try this, okay? So try, the hydration is the key. It's just really, really, really the key. So, um, okay, so Lisa, if you wear a medium foundation, do not use a light concealer, okay? And I'll, I'll get to those shade things in a second, and I'll tell, you, I'll tell you how to pick your shades and tones and what types of concealers that you should be looking at and using um, and how to create your tone. You actually should use the same color concealer that you use in foundation. In, in the 1980s, we put a whole lot of white under here because that was what was in fi fashion, but we were also 20 and we could get away with it, all right? And as we get a little bit older, if we put a lot of white and light underneath here, it's just gonna draw attention to it and we don't want that to happen, okay? Um, okay, so I've, I've done two applications, but what I was gonna say is put this on at night and then in the morning, if you want to, just splash your face with like, you know, a lukewarm or cool water, and then apply more of your moisturizer under there, you'll actually even get a more of a plumping effect than erasing all of those natural oils on your skin. As we get older, our body just, you know, when we're young, we hate the oil. It just pisses us off. And when we're old, we're like, give us some oil, <laughs> you know? Okay. So the th now the next step. So we've done two apps of this. And you one, if you have to get out the door, two, if you don't. Now the next thing that you're going to do is... Any type of oil, like um, um, skin oils, like maybe you use Josie's, or um, I do know that Dr. D has one, or there is, um, there's argon oil, there's marula oil, there's all kinds of oils, right? All kinds of different oils. What you want to do is take about two drops, and I'm going to tell you what I'm loving right now. You can see this. I, I'm like I'm almost down to the very bit of it. It's called. Um, it's from um, Pestle and Mortar. Pestle and Mortar, and it's pure hyaluronic serum. This is what I've been using right now, and just loving it. Okay. Just something I had happened for. Actually, someone gave it to me, and I just am down to like the little nitty gritty there. So now this is like really like, oh, it's all feel like it's a test tube, like a tiny little bit. And all this is is hyaluronic, and I love hyaluronic because it increases like, um, it attracts water a thousand times its weight. So this is just a blend of hyaluronic and aloe vera. So I'm just a big fan of this one. I could be a big fan of something next week, but right now I'm just loving that. So you're going to take two drops, two drops of that, and right over top of our moisturizer, no, we're not going to do the oils first. So I told you I'm a little backwards, but I'm going to tell you these things work. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take those oils and that oil and just lightly just kind of put it in there and press, 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 not press like, you know, like you're, you know, pressing out pizza dough. I'm, when I talk about press, I'm just talking about like lightly pressing that into the skin, right? Um, is, what do you use? You use Resurrection Plus. I've not heard of that yet, Margaret, but um, I, I hope it, whatever's working. I'm not telling you to use, I don't, I don't do um, any skincare just yet. So these are just really kind of the things that I use. And a lot of times I switch on and off. It could be, Something maybe that somebody gave me or something that I'm trying or something that I heard about. I'm like you. I like to try all different things. Okay, so my skin underneath here is like ready. It feels pretty good. It feels real. feels pretty ready. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead. Now let's talk about what shades that we use and what do we do underneath this eye area. Because the key with underneath the eye area, you use this Ch Chaz's Dry New Oil Spray. I love Chaz. Um, I'm sure that it's probably amazing, Deborah. So um, it's Lisa Robertson's oil. Um, Margaret, is this Lisa Robert? Which one? Chaz's or the pesto, the the pesto and mortar? Um, I don't know what type of skincare she uses. She's just crazy. I know she likes to eat meat. That's it. That's you know, Lisa and I have been friends just too many years. My goodness. Okay, so let's talk about um, 
let's talk. And I'm like I said, just try these things tomorrow. You don't really have to make anything changing. And I'm sure that if you don't maybe have an oil, you could pick, you could pick up just like an, you know, pick it. They don't have to be expensive. You know, they really don't. You could actually believe it or not. You know, this is going to sound a little strange, but you probably have olive oil. Um, in your kitchen and if you have olive oil in your kitchen when I tell you two tiny little drops and then you can see now um, how much more hydrated that under eye area is right so it's much more hydrated so you can see gosh look how red and ooh, oh my goodness oh my goodness I got all kinds of stuff going on under there all right so let's talk about types of concealers and let's to hi Sandy let's talk about types of concealers for an aging eye and let's talk about um, shades of concealers okay so first of all typically if you have a lot of creasing under the eye you want to stay more to a more liquidy concealer um, instead of a cream based concealer and know that I make both I'm just gonna tell you that um, creams have a tendency to crease more than liquids do. They're a little bit thinner and they dry a little bit better. So I'm going to lean you towards that. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Hydrogel Liquid Concealer. So um, that way you can kind of see how that works. And I'm just looking for my concealer brush. What did I do with it? There it is. Okay, I am... Just a hot mess today. I'm always a hot mess on Sundays, aren't I? <laughs> and they're my favorite days because I look forward to Sunday night chats with my girls. I really, really, really do. I just want you guys to know that. Hi, Terry. Um, yeah, coconut oil, whatever type of oil you have. But just remember, not a ton of oil, not a ton. Two little drops because we really, really hydrated. I mean, you should see, honestly, like my under eye feels like a baby's butt right now. Like it's so uber soft. And the key is the more hydrated that is, the less you're going to have a chance for concealer breakdown. So that's what we want to do. So let's talk about shades. Stick with the same shade that your foundation is. Like I wear a light foundation and I wear a light concealer. So in 1980, we wore a concealer that was always like ridiculously light, lighter, than the rest of our foundation. And the reason that we did that is because that's how concealers were made back then. That was kind of the style and we were also in our teens or our 20s. So that's what we did. So I'm gonna tell you, as we get a little bit older and things change, we just kind of need to adapt to those things. And these are just little minor changes that we can do. They're not that really difficult, but they make a huge difference. And a huge difference in the way we see ourselves and the way other people see us. And that's the beauty of makeup, right? That's why we love it. So, okay. So do not go lighter than your regular concealer. Stick with your same shade. And also too, back 30 years ago when we did lighter, the really the only way that they were really making um, can, you know makeup products back then, and they did colorants where it's with titanium dioxide and, and I mean and zinc oxide. They're the things that lifeguards would put on their nose, like that really white stuff, and that's how they got their shades. So concealers were always thick and they were always really white. And so so technology and science and all of these things have changed and they come really beautiful and they really made it 360. So whatever foundation shade that you normally wear. That's the shade of conceal that we're going to go with, even though, and I'll try it, because I know that if you were born at the same time I am, you're used to doing raccoon eyes, and you're, it's going to take you, it's going to be a sticker shock, like you're going to be like, what? That doesn't look like me the minute you don't have that white and light under there. Okay, but I'm going to tell you, at the end of the day, you're going to look better. All right, so now what I've done is I um, have that um, hydrogel concealer. In shade light that's the foundation shade I have my double-ended concealer brush and now we remember what that um, triangle of light is remember what I told you and I'm gonna just do this eye and we're gonna show you the difference here um hi Sheila how are you have you found your skin tone lightening up as you've added years Deborah I find my skin tone lightening up as I've gotten older because I don't go in the Sun anymore um, I'm a bat all right. I don't even know why I have a beach house because I only come out at night. <laughs> it, um, I, I think, um, skin and everything has gotten better that there has SPF in it and we're getting more aware of using SPF. So I believe that that's a lot why your skin is getting lighter. You're just not going in the sun and you're being smart. So, um, 
that now your skin tone will change as you age because your skin gets a little bit thinner so as we thin our tongue can get maybe a little gray because our skin gets thinner but I think for me is that when I was um, 18 years old I put baby oil and iodine and I laid on a foil blanket till I would blister and now I don't go in the sun so I think that has a lot to do with it but okay so let's talk about the triangle of light so remember when we're talking about concealers we want to keep those concealers like within this triangle okay remember we talk about that because we don't want to bring concealers all the way out through here we're just talking about under eyes now you might have other areas on your face that you need to conceal so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put this up around that lash line in through here just like this now this uh, this has an airbrush on the opposite side so you can use that to do a couple things if you're the type of person yeah I did Diane I baby oil and iodine ask anyone on this chat that is my age if they use baby oil and iodine just ask them and I guarantee you that the comments are gonna start flooding in and saying we took Johnson's baby oil in a little container and we put iodine in it and we shook it and that's what we put on our body Diane see just telling you it's like we baked okay so if you're the type of person that uses a beauty blender a sponge this will be a great time to use that sponge I'm going to take this wispy part the bigger part of my brush and I'm going to use it much like you would a beauty blender I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take and I'm just like kind of doing like a little pressing tapping motion like this into the concealer okay see see Diane read the comments read and weep Diane look Joanne did it Joe did it um Andrea did it Annie did it Jeannie Jeannie did it Oh, ah, 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 Mary Ellen, see, we all did it, Sheila did it, mm -hmm. Margaret, Lisa, did you do it? Yeah, Lisa, how'd you not get the, the, the memo, the iodine made you burn faster. Okay, so watch what I'm doing with this under eye. <laughs> I know, I could go on for a whole tutorial. So what I'm doing, instead of sweeping in the motion, I am doing this kind of pressing thing with my brush like that and I'm pressing and remember we want to use just as little tiny bit as that we can and now I've just pressed that underneath my eye now so I'm gonna wait just a second because this is what I like to do and I know this sounds really weird so you can do one of two things at this point I like to make like some movements with my face like this because I like to get it where it's gonna if it's gonna crease at all and everything's gonna crease just a little bit and then that way if I get any type of creasing now's what I do one of two things you can do if you're the type of person that uses a cream concealer instead of a liquid sealer this tip is gonna be a really good tip for you or you can do this if you use a liquid if you use a cream concealer at this point in time this would be a really great tip for you take a tissue okay take a tissue and just take it and just roll that tissue very lightly and I'm not like but don't wipe it off I'm just talking because what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab any excess concealer that is left underneath the eye so this way when you're moving and you're talking and you're communicating with people that stuff doesn't have um, if you're using hydrobomb Diane you, you're you know that's a really great concealer it dries really quick a lot of cream concealers don't dry as quick as that one does um, that are on the market but um, if you do if you ever you probably don't get excess because I never get excess with hydrobomb but you'll take and you'll just take this just very 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 lightly and do that so if you're using a, a cream concealer and you're noticing any creasing if you are using a liquid concealer and we've done that press 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 instead of back and forth back and forth then at the time after I make my eye, eye motions like that and any excess if I could like that that would possibly accumulate then before I go out the door because most of the time people think oh I put my concealer on and I can just go out the door don't just wait a second and then take and then what you're gonna do is just lightly take your brush and just brush all that just like that and then that way you'll have absolutely no creasing so no mind you I don't have foundation and stuff like that on here we're just talking about underneath the eye area so just like that um, so you can see how I have 
absolutely no creasing whatsoever underneath that eye all that darkness in red now normally i'll have foundation on here we're just talking about concealer now now here's the last trick that you're going to do with concealer and then i'll um jump on any questions maybe you guys have and um and then we'll talk about the giveaway <laughs> ah! um so this would be the last trick that you're going to do with concealer whatever finishing powder that you have like loose translucent finishing powder um <clears throat> i'm going to use my cc powder it doesn't matter whichever one that you have you're going to take the like a little baby flea like the tiniest 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 amount little tiny 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 bit not no digging no nothing tiny 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 amount and what we're going to do is we're just going to very 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 lightly just set that so it there it's so it dries so that's what that setting powder does it just dries that and that's what we're going to do and that's how you keep your concealer looking young and fresh so um foundation or concealer um kim i think that's um that's a matter of choice. I think most of the time people know their face. So it's not like you're going to start concealing in some weird area that you normally wouldn't apply foundation. Nine times out of ten, I know when I'm concealing from here to here. I'm putting my foundation on first and then hitting my concealer. Makeup artists will tell you do your concealer first and then do foundation later. Um, I think it's just whatever you like to do. Um, and whatever you feel comfortable doing. So it's a matter of preference. I always do everything backwards if people tell me to do one way or do the other. So um, um, how, who's that? Um, oh, I can't I can't pronounce it. Ismar, that's so beautiful. I love that name. That's so gorgeous. Hi, love. How are you? Um, Candy, did you like that tutorial? It's really easy, right? So I did this eye, and now this one I'm going to do just really quickly without kind of talking and just go boom, 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 and then show you. So that way when I do the giveaway, I'm not going to look like a weirdo eyeball. Okay, so we're going to apply under eye moisturizer, and this we're going to kind of press in, press, press, press. Remember, we're not beating it up. We're not beating up our eyes. We're just pressing, pressing, pressing. We're going to wait a minute. I do concealer before and after. Yeah, sometimes you have to. <clears throat> sometimes there are days when that then you need it, right? Sometimes there are. So press, press, press in. You're going to wait 60 seconds. You're going to rehydrate if you can, if you have the time. It's great if you have the time. If you don't, it's okay too. But if you, the more you can hydrate, gosh, the better it is. I swear it is. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's not getting more candy. Trust me, it really, because moisture just plumps things up, right? So we're going in for our second application, just like that, using the Dr. D, um, Dr. Dinesse's Phytofirm um, eye treatment. It's really, it's like a gel. It's really, uh, it's a beautiful treatment. I, I really like it. I think it has a little bit, I don't know the ingredients in it, but it feels like it has a little bit of silicone in it. So it almost acts like an under eye primer as well. So I do think that that's um, a really lovely under eye product. It's really like super, super silky. Um, so that we, we, now that's our second application under our eye. Then we're going to take um, some sort of a um, skincare oil that we're going to use, whether it's argan oil, marula oil, um, I don't care. Some people were using um, Chaz's body oil. Um, right now, I am using um, Pestle and Mortar's um, hyaluron Pure Hyaluronic uh, Serum. It's just what I like. And then we're only going to use two drops, one per eye. So you can see, I'm just going to do ahead and put that one little, see that little tiny drop? Just a little tiny drop over top of that moisturizer. It's just a really cool trick that will actually help to set that a little bit more. Just remember around that under eye area, it's really fragile and we don't want to, um, like we don't, you know, don't beat it up. <laughs> be, be nice. 
Don't beat that bad boy up. So um, it's starting to feel like it's dry. So we've just patted that in um, with your finger. Or you can use a sponge or whatever it is that you use. But what we're going to do is just kind of like press that a little bit into that eye around that eye area. I, I get a lot of like laugh lines. I've got like these nice big fat chubby cheeks. So I get nice and cre nice creasing through here. Um, yeah, Linda, you never heard of it. Trust me. Um, oh, Sarah, it's tell much how much the product is and will it work for sensitive skin um sarah this is the the skincare that i'm doing right now is not mine um one is dr Dines and one is um pestle and mortar you'll have to check out on maybe their websites it's just what i'm using right now so um and see see how much they are i don't know um but don't you don't have to change not because just not because I'm using them, they're just, I bring down what's on my bathroom counter and whatever you're using, just do it in these sequences, okay? So just try them in a different way. So whatever under eye cream that you're wearing already, just do that. Don't go and change your whole routine. Wait till the bottle's empty and when the bottle's empty, don't throw your money out and when the bottle's empty, go get a new bottle of something different, okay? So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna do that and then, um, we're gonna take, at this point in time, once this is dry, we're gonna take our concealer in the same shade as our foundation. Now this, I do know what this is, because I do make this. This is the Hydrogel Liquid Concealer. We're gonna kinda try to stay away from cream concealers if we're really crepey underneath the eye, go more towards a liquid. Um, we're gonna stay with that triangle of light. Ready, one, two, three, just like that, that triangle of light. We're gonna go ahead and fill in. Now, this would be the time if you're a beauty blender user, if you're the type of person that uses a beauty blender, that you would do that pressing technique with the beauty blender. Um, I don't use beauty blenders, I use brushes, but if you would, this would be the time that you would take that beauty blender, you would press, this is just how I, I use my brush instead of a beauty blender. And what we're gonna do instead of like brushing back and forth like you're brushing your teeth, we're gonna tap and press that concealer right in underneath the eye just like that up to that lash line okay in that corner staying within that triangle trying not to get that triangle to go too much out of the way because we want to keep that area um that light focus through here remember if we have too much light going out that's going to kind of drag our face down and set apart so there just like this um, what plumps up lines and wrinkles around your mouth? Same stuff, same stuff does, Joe. Um, it's just hydration, a lot of oils, the older we get, you know, you're just gonna have to hydrate more, press in more. It's like almost, you have to almost double up your skincare routine, I believe. Um, the more hydrated, believe it or not, drink water. I know that sounds like an, like your mother like told you to do that, but it's true, it really does work. Um, so I just say stay hydrated. Well, you know, watch your caffeines, those kind of things, those dehydrators in your skin. Um, I'm a hard one to talk because I usually have a cup of coffee when I'm doing these tutorials, but sorry. <laughs> but okay. Anyway, um, please confirm that you are using your Dalton number three uh, brush. No, sweetie, I'm using number two. I'm using my number two brush. I'm sorry about that. Two for concealer, because you can tell I use this all the time. It's a little cakey. I had it in Canada with me, but um, this one gets right up underneath the eye, and this is literally like an airbrusher. So now here's the little, here's the really cool trick that most people don't think to do. So after you've got your concealer and your foundation, even this is really good to do too, honestly, guys. If after you put like, let me put some foundation, let me put some of that concealer, get rid of some of this red. Um, if you if you do this little trick with the tissue, like after you put everything on and you move your face around, like move it around like you would throughout the day and then take that tissue and you're just gonna take just lightly and just lightly kind of pat that around like any of those um, lines, what it's gonna do is absorb all of those extra product that would normally migrate into those crease areas. So you're gonna do that. And then we're just gonna hit with um, a little bit, the, the littlest bit. I'm telling you, if I catch you guys, it's any more than a flea, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with the flea. The tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit, little bit of um, 
powder underneath that eye and set it. And there it is. Voila! Crease-free eyes. There it is. Um, okay. How did you guys get that? Hey, Misty. How are you? Hey, Dee Dee. Um, did you guys get everything? You like my funny faces, <laughs> Jess? <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm just fixing up that redness on my cheek with a little bit of hydrogel there. Get that all fixed up. Um, okay. So, here we go. What did, did everybody get that CC cream? Okay. Um, I know I used, um, Linda, I used CC powder. My CC powder, that's what I used to set it. Um, okay. So, yeah, the tissue tip is really cool. It works really great underneath the eyes. I like to use it Doris. I usually don't use a concealer. I always take my foundation up to the eyes. The hydrogel gives it. Yeah, Anne-Marie, you can use, you if you're found, so here, interesting. If you don't need a concealer, don't use it. Okay, if, if you don't need it, don't use it. If your foundation is covering and everything, and Hydrogel does cover pretty well, I'm going to tell you that it does. But most of the time, concealers are for people who have really, really darkness underneath their eye. They can't get that coverage, and they get, you know, a, a lot of stuff going on, and then they feel the need for something a little bit more opaque. Um... I used to be able to use foundation all the way right up underneath my eye and no concealer, but now I have to use concealer, which that just means it's, I don't know, I'm not getting enough sleep. <laughs> Is that what it means? I don't know. Hey, Ange, how are you, babe? Um, I hope Connecticut was good. Um, okay, so now, to any questions, did you guys conceal it for blemishes? Will it tissue trick? Yep, Debbie, it will work. It is the coolest little trick you can also even take a tissue, which is really interesting. You can take a tissue and take your brush, if you're worried about it, and just take a brush lightly over top of that tissue. If you're, if you're not comfortable, if you feel like you're taking off too much of your makeup, only where those lines are, grabs up that excess, stops the creasing. So, and then set with the powder and you are boom good. Because what happens is you get, most of the time we're a little heavy handed. We get a little too much stuff on and then, you know, half an hour later we're like Accordion City. And we don't want to live in Accordion City. It's just not a good place to live. We want to live in Gotham. Right? <laughs> anyway. Okay, so it is that time. It is, um, okay, thank you. I'm so glad that you love the hydrogel. Okay, so, uh, Nuggie's having a heart attack in there. I don't know what she's doing. But it is that time of the night. It is Sunday night. And what does Sunday night bring me the biggest joy doing? It's giveaway time, dolls. It is that time. If I had a drum, I would do a drum roll. So it is um, in honor of St. Patrick's Day weekend. We thought, well, what's better than a pot of gold other than a pot of rose gold, right? It's our favorite color because, duh, it's part of our brand. So um, we've got a couple little rose gold things for you guys and somebody actually is going to get something new that no one else has so let's talk about it now first is first let's talk about what's part of the giveaway all right so here is the giveaway the first thing is one lucky doll is going to win a wonderful tote by Michael Kors and of course our doll 10 colors, right? How gorgeous is this tote? So, in this gorgeous tote, in a doll 10, we saw this and we were like, oh my God, that's our color. So, we had to get it, right? We had to make it part of the giveaway. So, I love, love, love this tote. It's going to be perfect for the summer. It's going to be perfect with a pair of white jeans. It's going to be perfect going to the beach. But I'm not going to be going to the beach because there's water all over my house. And that's not going to happen. Okay, so what would be great? No, Nuggie, don't get down. It's giveaway time. Just give me one minute. So what would be great to go in that tote? What would be great to go in that tote? How about, and I'm really going to cry when I have to um, part with these because these are really awesome. All right. How about a rose gold pair of beets? How beaten awesome are they? <laughs> right? These gorgeous rose gold beads. So you can beat your way through the summer and you can have like, like music in your ears like you guys are to me every Sunday night. So I really love, I might have to get myself a pair of them because I really didn't even know that they were that gorgeous. Okay. Now, 
How about the next thing? And we want you to have like a summer full of music and love and laughter and all that kind of stuff. How about a rose gold speaker for all of your music so you can have your music wherever you want to go. So this beautiful rose gold home speaker or an office speaker or wherever it is. So isn't that really great? And it goes like with these amazing rose gold beats. So love that, love that, love that, love that, love that. Now, the other thing, so since you're going to have like this amazing gorgeous Michael Kors in the doll 10 millennial pink nude, you're going to have to put some doll 10 makeup in there, right? So of course you're going to have to ha get a hundred dollar, um, a doll dollars to doll 10.com, which I love. So you can get your great lippies and put in there your finishing powder. Okay. Now the last but not least, Okay, yeah, it's great, right? Margaret is a good giveaway. I, I, I love these giveaways. They're so much fun. Okay, here it is. Now, next Sunday night, I'm going to tell you all the guys about this thing. And I, I get, like, my breath is being taken away. We are launching a new foundation. Yes, yes, we are. And this foundation is amazing, okay? This is the first of its kind, all right? It is, okay, wait for it. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you. So whomever wins this is going to get this foundation and I'm going to unseal it. It comes hermetically sealed. Hold on a second. Let me get this. It is the first poured serum. Oh, there we go. Poured serum foundation. So that, is, oh, there we go. That is your foundation and your serum all in one that contains um, copper tripeptides, collagen, silk, um, coconut, uh, panthenol, um, oh my gosh, the list of stuff that is in this serum and foundation all in one is pretty insane. So I'm gonna give you a full tutorial on this bad boy, but whoever wins that giveaway will get this before it even launches. So I'm really, out of all those things, I'm really like, I, I hate to say it, maybe the most excited about the new foundation. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give you too much about it because that's Sunday and I don't want you guys not to tune in next Sunday. That'll make me mad. Um, anyway, so that is the giveaway. And like we said, it's for the luck of the Irish and, you know, a pot of rose gold. So you'll get the handbag. You'll get these rose gold beads if I decide to part with them, which is going to break my heart. It's $100 in doll dollars. Your rose gold go anywhere speaker and the brand new poured swirled serum foundation. Okay, so everything is on the... Um, is on the website and ready to go. Um, it's so, all you have to do is, we don't make it hard. You So whether or not you're on Facebook or whether or not you're on Instagram, it is all there and you can just go ahead and do your little things and get started. It's there for you, you don't have to wait. And um, good luck, luck of the iris to all of my dolls. Um, I am on tomorrow night in PM style. So hopefully you guys will tune in there with Shawnee and, and me with the new lip wardrobe. And um, I do have some hour shows coming up, I think the following week. So Sunday night we'll have the show, I think. I don't know what day it is. Is it next Sunday? I don't know. Easter. So I'll have to let you guys know. All right, they're barking. Do you know what that means? They want treats. They want me to get off of here and give them something to eat. So that's it, guys. Um, I love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing rest of your weekend. And have a beautiful, beautiful week. All right? Bye-bye.